coming yep. in here all by your lonesome. Most folk ain't so dumb. Hey, I know that watch me. <coughs> Where'd you get it? Oh, Mudtooth gave it to me. That's so. Give it here. Uh, why should I? <laughs> Maybe I wasn't clear. Give it here if you want to keep on breathing. Uh, I think it's mine, and uh, you will pretty much never get it, bro, so deuces. Well, then, I guess we're done talking here. I guess we are. And you're done living. What's going on, guys? Back at it again with another Remnant from the Ashes video. So this one is actually going to be a pretty interesting one in my opinion, mainly because this dungeon, the Cutthroat Channel, as you can see on the top left corner, is one of two what I would consider unique dungeons here in this game. And I consider them unique not because of the aesthetic or anything like that, uh, but rather the enemy type in this dungeon. So you don't really have any normal type of enemies in this dungeon. You have humans. Which is kind of weird, because there, there's only one other dungeon in the entire game that has this, which I will cover in a later video. Uh, but this one is pretty unique. It has human enemies, and I think that's pretty awesome. But what the Cutthroat Channel eventually leads to, it eventually leads to uh, uh, an area where you find an individual called Barbus. Now this encounter, I will say, is extremely interesting in my opinion, because there's three potential outcomes so in this one we're gonna fight them and we're gonna take them out but at the very very end i'm gonna show you what you could do obviously without having to actually go through the motions i'm just gonna verbally tell you but at the very end i'm gonna tell you exactly what the outcome of all three options are so that you can make the best informed decision that you can make when you encounter this boss or this encounter at the end of this dungeon so with that being said that's enough yapping for me let's go ahead and jump into this video all right so as as you can see we're in the cutthroat channel let me go ahead and put on my I need a light. my little mini gun or my uh, tommy gun i should say uh it's probably my favorite gun in the game if it's not already obvious but there we go see that's that's a human right there more bad news and i think it's i don't know i don't know what it is but i think it's freaking yeah. awesome they're not very tough uh one on one but they can easily overwhelm you if you're not careful i love that move by the way look at that it's just taking everybody out By the way, I got a little bit of a sore throat right now, so if you hear me coughing or anything like that, I apologize ahead of time. I saw somebody right over here. There we go. Oh, I thought he was dead. Luckily, all of these guys are going to die because I already have my mod power filled up. We, uh, we took out some poochies, too. Man, this is amazing, dude. Like, oh, that guy literally came out of nowhere. Man, I don't know. I don't know what, like, this one and uh, the next dungeon uh, that has the same similar type of enemies. They're not the same. They're very, this is very unique in the sense that these guys are pretty much bandit. But uh, there is one other dungeon that has human NPCs. Obviously, they're enemies, but this one is 100% unique because it does have bandage. Can I get him from here? Nope. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to throw it, but it's okay, though. They'll lock on when I get closer. Let's go ahead and heal really quick. Oh, it looks like I got me some simulacrum too. Not that I need it or anything, but. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's very easy to get overwhelmed here. 
there's so many of them and if you're not careful it they will literally just gang up on you and Woo! you'll over. be uh taken out pretty pretty easily whoa <laughs> I love that move, man. It's 100% my favorite mod power, dude. Swarm. Whenever I get to the video with uh, the Thrall, which is where you get this mod power from, I'll, ex I'll show you exactly how to get it. So the Pillar Stone is actually one that I use for this because it has a lot of uh, like sway and stuff. So the Pillar Stone, that's what I just found on the floor. It reduces 50% uh, uh, sway and 25% re and recoil. So it's it's pretty legit, dude, for guns that have heavy recoil like this one. It doesn't have necessarily a lot of recoil. What it has is it has a lot of sway. So whenever you're like shooting and stuff, it will it will pretty much just get out of the target pretty easily. So the Pillar of Stone definitely comes in handy. Where are they at? Goodbye, Poochie. Oh! Someone's coming over here. I see you, buddy. I see you. I smell trouble. There you are. I just shot him in the nuts, dude. What the hell? Oh, that guy really thought he had a chance. I should probably take uh, one of these really quick only so that I can pretty much just uh, get my health back to 100. Hell yeah, I can use all the traits. Where's everybody? I thought I saw some people. There they are. Oh. Away with you, heathens. I think I've actually reached, yep, I've reached the end of the dungeon, so that's pretty amazing. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and go to the depot, which is where Barbus resides. So, I'm going to go ahead and just use this checkpoint really quick, just so that you guys can see we're at the depot on the top left corner right now. And uh, again, this is where Barbus resides, so really quick... I, I do want to say one thing before we go inside. I want to do a quick rundown of what to expect, I guess you can say. So if you go in there with an in, with another uh, player, you have the option to basically fight him if you don't have the, uh, the pocket watch in your inventory. And the winner of that gets a, a trait called, uh, what is it at? Cold as Ice. And it's one of the harder ones to get because, you know, nobody really knows how to get it. Another option that you can do is if, if you have the pocket watch, you can give it to him. And he gives you uh, the bandit's armor. And I got to say, it's it's a really good armor set, dude. I actually used it for a very long time, if you guys recall. And I don't know, it's very well, very much well uh, worth it. And the last option, obviously, is the one that I'm going to do right now, which I'll just show you. Well, ain't you a right mutter, coming yep. in here all by your lonesome. Most folk ain't so dumb. Hey, I know that watch me. Where'd you get it? Oh, Mudtooth gave it to me. That's so. Give it here. Uh, why should I? <laughs> Maybe I wasn't clear. Give it here if you want to keep on breathing. Uh... I think it's mine, and uh, you will pretty much never get it, bro, so deuces. Well, then, I guess we're done talking here. I guess we are. And you're done living. If that's what you think. So a little thing that I like to do is just hide back here and just pick them up. And you'd be surprised how well it works. Look at that. Harvest is getting his ass beat and I'm not even doing anything.
He hits hard with his shotgun, by the way. Damn it, that's not what I wanted. Let me get close to him really quick. He's very easy, but if you don't know how to, <laughs> how to like, take him out the, the spam way, he could be very, very difficult. Let's go! Goodbye, Barbus. Goodbye. But that's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna go uh, back to the uh, Back to Ward 13 and I'm gonna show you the results of just taking them out naturally All right guys, so if you were to fight them naturally the way I did and basically not give them the pocket watch or Fight somebody else to get the coldest ice perk you get a crafting material called the shrapnel shard and essentially what that does is that it gives you the ability to craft a weapon mod and the weapon mod in question here is actually one called explosive shot which I will show you right here so explosive shot fires an explosive round uh, that detonates and will do uh, 510 damage to enemies within 3.5 meters this is a pretty legit uh, weapon mod and I actually see people use it against uh, nightmare uh, which is if you guys don't know is the final boss of the game because it really does a lot of initial damage and I think you could stack up to five if I'm not mistaken and it could be potentially very very devastating to uh, Nightmare during the whole spam and DPS portion of fighting him so if you guys don't know what it looks like I'm gonna show on the screen right now what the shrapnel shard looks like because again I've already fought him before and I already have all the traits and everything in this game so there's really nothing that I haven't gotten already so uh, I would I wouldn't be able to show you so that's what the shrapnel shard looks like and that I mean that's pretty much it that's gonna conclude this video so with that being said thank you guys for watching don't forget to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video deuces